One of the most important parts of the engine is airflow. I'm joined with Kevin Feeney here with RHS. We're going to talk about some of the special products you guys have here. Yes, we are. We've got a, a couple different uh, intake manifolds that we've come out with here this year, debuting here at the PRI show. Awesome. Well, you guys have, first off, a carbureted option. I want to hear about that. Well, what's unique about the carbureted option, it's designed specifically for our 23 degree heads. The uh, ports are designed for a, for a complete match, so you don't have to do a, a lot of grinding on them afterwards. Uh, it's got a dual bolt pattern, so it fits all the late model as well as the, the early Gen 1 engines and cylinder head configurations. It also has four cornering watering options on it and an integral water crossover, so it's, uh, it's, it's very universal, um, bolts on about just about every application with the Gen 1 small block, and it also has a dual bolt pattern on the uh, uh, distributor hold down. All right, but you guys also make a new option for the fuel injected guys, right? That's correct. Uh, as you're aware, most of the engines have gone to fuel injection nowadays, and a lot of them are being converted over. They have existing uh, carburetor applications on it. And what we've come up with is a four-barrel manifold that has the ability to put the injectors in it. But what we did that's unique is we laid the injectors back where they're angled right towards the back of the intake valve. And it's a, a large improvement in the uh, air-fuel mixture as it goes entering the cylinder. And you guys also put some sensors on there, which is important because these guys normally are doing a lot of this stuff themselves and they're just kind of smacking them on there. What is it that you guys did special? Well, it's very important to us to make it user friendly and making it easy for the engine builder or the consumer to, to put, it, put, put it all together without having to do additional machine work. So we've uh, made them integral, the, the MAP sensor and air inlet temperature sensors. Uh, so it's, it's right there, it's kind of plug and play for, for them. And what is it that's so special about having those extra bolt holes? Because I guess the intakes that people would buy originally from other companies or everything didn't come with what they needed. Well, there's a variety of cylinder head applications out there, and you used to have to buy a specific manifold for it. What we've done is try to incorporate a variety of different bolt patterns in it, so it fits all the early Gen 1 as well as the, the late model perimeter bolt down cylinder heads. All right, well, we can move on into the cylinder heads because you guys have some new configurations of some of the older style that you used to have. Yes, we do. The, uh, the LS engine platform has really taken off, I mean, in, in the whole industry. And we can, came out with our LS block here about three years ago with the ability to go to 502 cubic inch. Uh, we came out with an LS7 cylinder head to complement that, but we needed to come up with something that, you know, offered a lot more airflow, um, a lot more runner volume, and, and we came up with our big port cylinder head, which is, uh, features a 300cc intake runner. What is it exactly that you guys are doing to test these or to, you know, make these a really high flow head? Well, there's an extensive amount of airflow testing that goes in there, and it's really not about just the flow numbers on it. We really concentrate on the quality of the airflow. Uh, it's really easy to get big flow numbers, but, you know, you really have to have the, the balance of velocity as well as airflow to fit the specific application. Awesome. See, these guys know what they're talking about, right? So you guys have, you know, heads for maybe the guys that are going to have the smaller engines all the way up to the bigger. Let me just hear a little bit about the difference in those. Well, we do. Like I indicated, the, the large port cylinder head has been beneficial for the guys. They're going all out with the 500 cubic inch. But we also came out with a new cylinder head now that's designed around the small bore applications. We also now have the ability to provide a customer with a, a small bore cylinder head that'll fit a 3900 bore so they can take an existing LS1 short block, put our cylinder head on it and an LS7 manifold and, uh, and make big power with it. I was going to say, they're probably seeing some good gains right there. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and, and they can do it with bolt-on pieces. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. You guys, if you want to get more information about them, make sure you check out racingheadservice.com.